Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you here if this is your very first time. Welcome back if you are returning. Today I have some easy DIY ornaments today. We're going to be using the ornaments. They come from the um, Dollar General as well as some napkins from Dollar General. So if you're interested in seeing what I create, I suggest that you keep on watching. All right, so these are the beautiful napkins that I am going to be using today. I have used these on the channel already. They come from the Dollar General, $1. Um, for each um, pack, you get 16. There are two ply, and this is the other design on the other three sides. And then the smaller napkin says, no place like home. It's no place like home, it was a dollar as well, 16 count two ply and there's two different um pictures on the other three sides to have one and the other one is a different one so you got the front of the truck and then you have the back of the truck okay so we are going to be using these napkins and doing some decoupaging on these ornaments let's get into it y'all for our first ornament i have this um christmas tree again these ornaments come from dollar general you get two of each and four different um, ornaments in the packaging for one dollar and i painted all of them white using an apple barrel in white um, from walmart and i am just taking some mod podge from dollar tree the little small container the two fluid ounce container and i have already gotten the designs off of the napkins i just trimmed them down with my fingers no scissors or anything separated the plies and we are just going to um, take a little sanding paper just to make sure that we get into the edges like we supposed to and um yeah we're just going to create some cute little ornaments today but these ornaments are definitely going to be farmhouse okay i forgot to mention that okay and uh yeah we are just going to take the um we're going to take the little string the little jute that comes with it in the pack and just tie it back on tie it on and we are going to brush some antique wax around the edges to give it a farmhouse look and and do one little bit of embellishing and that'll be it All right, we're just adding us a little shoestring bow with some buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And that's it for that. Moving on, there was a gingerbread in the pack. And um, I painted it white as well. And we're just going to do the same exact thing as we did with the Christmas tree. Now, I do have the actual packaging in my Dollar General haul of how they look in the packaging, okay? Um, so I will link that video in the description box so that you all can see exactly what the packaging looks like. Just in case you're curious, you get eight different, I mean, you get four different cutouts, but you get two of each. So you can really, <clears throat> they had two different packagings. So you can really create some amazing ornaments for your Christmas tree. Um, and that's exactly what I am doing here. I do believe I'm going to keep all of these for myself. I think, I really do think I am. And just to mention, I did paint the front and the back. Um, you can also do the other side, you know, and maybe I may come back later and do the other side since it's already painted. I may, you know, just in case they flip around, it will be a two-sided, um, ornament. Okay, 
and we're going to do the same exact thing do some dry brushing and so just keep on watching A little gingerbread is stinking cute. I love it. All right, we're gonna take this snowflake and do the exact same thing. So if you are stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. If you are a new subscriber, if you subscribe in the last, I would say month, but then that means you a newbie around here, baby. Thank you for joining the family. All you oldest but goodies, y'all know how I feel about you. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. You all support me and I am grateful. You watch these videos from the beginning to the end. That helps me out, y'all. It's such a blessing, okay? I don't take any of the things that you do for granted. The likes, the shares, the comments, the views, you guys rock. So stay tuned because there's a whole lot more in store for this channel. So keep on watching. All right, we have a stocking. We're gonna do the same thing, y'all. When I am sanding, I am making sure that I am sanding, sanding downward in a downward motion and um, it pretty much comes off really, really good and smooth. Just a little quick little tip, just in case you know you've never done this or you're new to crafting, don't sand upward. I use a sand and downward, okay? All right, twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> yes, let's get this star all cute and dolled up. All right, we have a cute angel. Yes, this is so pretty. And I just love how all of these turned out, y'all. I really, really do. And, you know, just customizing your own ornaments. You know, you can even sell these if you sell your crafts. These will be great gifts um, for someone for Christmas. Um, 
for them to have for the very next Christmas, you know, or just for the Christmas this year. Go ahead and do them and just let them know. I got a little something for you, baby. You know, to make your Christmas tree look a little bit more extra dolled up. Okay? Yeah. All right, so if there's any of these ornaments that you like so far, you've seen six. Mm-hmm. They're super duper easy, absolutely, absolutely the cutest in my opinion, okay? Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. That helps my channel out. Leave me a comment and tell me what it is that you like. Consider joining the family if you haven't already. Subscribe, baby. Hit the bell as well. You don't want to miss out on what's next. Now I have two more of these ornaments to do for you, so keep on watching. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Y'all know I got to make you laugh at least once in these videos, okay? <laughs> Sometimes these voiceovers, y'all, I can be super duper serious when I'm doing them. And then sometimes when I do these voiceovers, baby, I be having a ball, okay? I'm laughing at myself and all of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, we doing this um, cute little bell right here. And I love the red truck. You all, if you're oldie but a goodie, you should know by now your girl love this little red truck. Now, I'm going to need some more napkins because I'm going to need some different ones. Now, mm -hmm. y'all let me know if y'all got some real fancy, beautiful napkins in your stash. Uh-huh. Or where did you get them from? If you got any, you know, last year. Uh, where did you get them from if you already got some this year? Where did you get these napkins from? So I can go pick me some up because um, I'm loving this decoupage with these napkins, honey. I really, really do. So, keep on watching for the reveal of all of these cutie patooties, okay? We have another snowflake. Now, this snowflake is just a little bit different, a little bit. You have a bigger space in the middle. And we are just going to do the same thing. So, keep on watching. Now, these little sanding sheets, baby, they help you get all in between, okay? They get all in between. Now, you can also use a little uh, nail file, you know, something of that sort. You can do that, but this paper really got in between all of the little nooks and crannies of these ornaments, okay? All right, y'all, that is it for these beautiful DIY ornaments using Dollar General ornaments as well as the napkins. I love all of them. They were super duper easy and absolutely fun to make. Do you make your own ornaments? If not, you think you would be interested in making your own ornaments because of this video? Well, I think you should give it a try if you haven't already. This was so much fun and you get to design them just the way you want them. Okay. 
I love the simplicity of them. I love the farmhouse-ish look of them. You have your reindeer. You have the truck. You have a barn. You have the back of the truck, the front of the truck. You have some Christmas trees. You have the actual farmhouse. I tell you, these are so cute. You have the farmhouse. You have the barn, whatever you want to call them. Listen, I love it. I absolutely love the way they turned out. You have to let me know in the comments. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by today. Give me a big old thumbs up if you like anything. Leave me a comment. Tell me what it is. Subscribe. Hit the bell as well. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.